I have an iPhone 6S here, water damaged, and I found the short. Um, I'm going to save that for another video. I've, I've found the short on two 6S's so far, and they were located in the same place. Um, I'm not going to get into it here. Anyways. VCC main is all over the whole board here. Uh, this is Tigris. This is, I believe, an audio codec. And then this is uh, another uh, IC that's integrated with uh, Tigris. So I had, you know, generally when you're doing water damage uh, troubleshooting, you don't try not to remove any ICs unless you absolutely unless you absolutely have to and unless uh, all of the caps are uh, tested and tested fine then you start removing ICs because ICs are a little bit of a pain in the butt to put back you know so especially uh, the bigger ones um, but I was kind of at a loss so I ended up taking Tigris and Q2300 or er, let's see Tigris Q2300 and audio codec which I'm not going to put back because I don't think it's needed for uh, data recovery so I've already reballed Tigris. Um, I don't have any donor boards yet. That's my problem too. And uh, so, and then I ended up losing this chip right here. So I'm gonna have to order it. So I reballed Tigris. I'm gonna put Tigris back, and and that is that. Um, phone's probably still not gonna work without this one. And there's a few missing caps here too. So I may have to put those back. I think I probably will have to put it back. I'm, I'm, this is just for data recovery, so it's not not a huge, you know. I don't have to put everything back. I just need to make sure the thing turns on and doesn't overheat and stuff like that, you know. So I'm gonna put this is Tigers. This is gonna be a Tigers video. So I don't. Let me see if I can get access to ZXW real quick. Okay. Um. Move this up here. Uh, let's see. So A1 is here. Just make sure the dot is there. So here's our chip. Um, do I want to put some Kapton on it? I'll just put some heat sinks. This is water damaged. <laughs> okay. Uh, nickel. I think I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it at that. That's fine. Okay, so uh let's make sure the dot is the is at the lower right corner here relative to what I'm looking at. Okay, so heat gun set at I'm gonna go to four fifty C, but uh that's probably not entirely accurate, so you you go with whatever your hot gun says. Um, so with IC chips, you always want to make sure they're positioned before you start heating, um, as best as possible. Clean the pads and all that good stuff. All right, so that's. Alright, so that's pretty good, I think, like right about there. Alright, that should be good, so I'm just gonna go. You know what? I don't know what, what this white thing is over here, but I don't really. It looks like it's plastic or something. So let's just do that. It's not probably not going to stay. Tape it on here or something. So I'm sure I'll burn something up here that I'm not supposed to. Then I'll call me some other grief.
Alright, I think that's good. Oh, no, <laughs> wasn't dry yet. Uh, dagger. Uh, I got a little too antsy. There you go. Alright. Wait for it to dry, dummy. Or solidify, huh? All right, so that is a tigress. So I'm going to put this aside until I get Q2300. And then I'm going to see if I can source some of these chips in the meantime as well. These uh, ca caps here. Let me see what I got. Let's see. I got 6.3 volt 0201. I think I have those actually. No, hold on. It's these. 6.3 volt, 10 microfarad, 0402. Let me see if I have this. Ten volts. Ten volt. I'm sorry. Ten microfarad, six point three volts, zero four zero two. Yes, I do have them. So I got plenty of them. All right. Well, um, do I do them now or later? I might as well do them now. You know what? I'm gonna save that for another video too. Uh, all right. So this is just the Tigris video, okay? Tigris iPhone 6s Reball.